Every painter knows that flushing paint from your spray hoses is a time-consuming process. Plus, it consumes a lot of solvent, and it sometimes leaves behind residual paint, which can be a pain between color changes. Turns out there is a better way to flush your paint lines. Let me show you how this works. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Spray Booth. I'm Michael here at Finishing Technologies. As I mentioned in the intro, there is a better way to clean your paint fluid lines. The traditional process is to use your pressure tank to flush solvent through your paint lines and out the end of your gun until the stream is clear. This typically works fine, but it takes a lot of time and produces a lot of solvent waste and sometimes isn't totally thorough. Enter the Binks Solvent Saver System. Using one of these can dramatically cut down the time it takes to clean out your hose and gun while consuming a fraction of the solvent and leaving behind squeaky clean hoses, much better prepped for that next color. To discover how this system makes a difference, we must first understand what's going on inside your hose during a typical flush. All fluids follow a principle called laminar flow, which ultimately means that the very center of the hose is where the path of least resistance exists. This causes the solvent to pass through the center of your hose faster than the solvent that is traveling along the sides. In effect, much less solvent makes contact with the sides of your hose than through the middle. This is terrific for a proper, efficient, and smooth flow while painting, but it's much less effective for flushing. Let me show you how the solvent saver fixes this. This model here is the two gallon version, which is great for those who have longer paint lines, shops who are spraying multiple guns, or if you change colors frequently. The solvent saver system also comes in a two quart version. I have here my pressure pot which I've been using to feed paint to my spray gun. And here, I have my Binks solvent saver system, inside of which I put the appropriate solvent for use with my particular paint. For the purposes of my demonstration, I'm using quick disconnect fittings on both my air lines and my fluid lines. Your system, especially on the fluid side, probably requires that you unscrew the hose fittings. If you think these quick disconnects may be handy for your shop, you'll find links for them down in the description. Also, for my demo here, I'll be using a clear hose line so that we can see what's happening inside. Once I'm ready to flush, first I need to depressurize my pressure pot. If you're using the two-quart version of the solvent saver, your air pressure needs to be around 10 PSI. So if you need to, reduce the air pressure at your air drop. Using the two gallon version here is fine up to 100 PSI. Next, I'll disconnect the air line from my pressure pot and attach it to the air input of the solvent saver. Now I'll disconnect the dirty fluid hose from the pressure tank and connect it to the output of the solvent saver. Now I'm gonna turn on both ball valves on the solvent saver to turn on the flow. I'll note that this process does generate some static charge, so it's important to ground out my solvent waste bucket to avoid static discharge. Next, I'll turn this knob on the top of the solvent saver, which controls solvent air mixture. If the knob is turned all the way to the right, it will dispense nothing but air. Turning it all the way to the left dispenses nothing but solvent. Somewhere in the middle is ideal for flushing. Now, I aim my spray gun at my grounded waste bucket and pull the trigger. As you can see, the movement within my paint fluid line becomes chaotic, introducing an agitating effect we call air chop. This air chop has a scrubbing effect, efficiently disrupting and dislodging paint inside your fluid hose and paint gun. As with traditional flushing, the stream coming out of the end of the gun will eventually become clear as the paint is flushed out, only in far less time and having used considerably less solvent. If desired, I can now twist the adjustment knob on the top of my solvent saver all the way to the right so that only air will pass through. The clean solvent is pushed out and my hoses are empty. Now I can close the ball valves and depressurize the solvent saver. Clean out my pressure pot and return the air and fluid lines to the tank. And I'm ready to spray again. This system can be used for all paint lines, including high pressure airless paint lines for much faster, more effective paint flushing. This can extend the life of your hoses and using one takes less than half the time of the traditional method and requires dramatically less solvent, up to 75% less than flushing the old way. 
Another way you can introduce this turbulent flow to flush out your paint lines is to have this gizmo permanently installed in your paint booth, where easy access is always at hand for cleaning out your paint lines. Feed the system with the appropriate solvent with, say, a diaphragm pump, then connect your shop air, and you have the labor and solvent reducing convenience of the air chop cleaning method available at any time without the pressure tank setup. This unit is fitted with all the controls and connections for a simple swap that's ready to go whenever you are. Fintech can help integrate this right into your workflow along with installation services. Give us a call or ask your Fintech account rep. While the Binx Solvent Saver System is hardly inexpensive, most production shops, especially those who change colors frequently, can save on labor and solvent costs, including on the disposal of that solvent. Let us know if you'd like some help calculating an ROI. I hope what I presented here has been informative. Here's our contact information if you have any questions, or leave a comment below the video. As a reminder, all the links for what I've discussed are in the description. Thanks for watching everyone. Keep spraying efficiently out there. I look forward to seeing you next time. Nice. <laughs> ah, well, there's the part that goes with the tail of the thing.